Okay, so we've got a horse here that presents for something that we can see from time to time and it can be easy to mistake it for something else. And so uh, the history was that he had an abscess that started draining outside the facial crest region. Uh, and then he also had some nasal discharge consistent with the sinusitis. So we'll show you where the, the drainage was on the facial crest. You can see right here, we have an open region and some swelling. Um, there's not a lot of pus or anything coming out of it at this time, but we can definitely see that we have an external wound there. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you in the mouth. The horse also has a history of, he had a fractured when he was examined for this. It was found that he had a fractured 208 um, with a central fracture. And so uh, that was attempted to be removed, but part of the root stayed in. So we have a couple root fragments to take out on the, the 208. And then he also has some issues, uh, other issues that we're going to talk about. Okay, so here we can see we've got an infundibular carry on the number six tooth. And then we also have uh, pretty significant grade twos and three infundibular caries on the 107. The 108 is expired. We have a kind of a expired infundibular region here. The number nine is expired. 10 has some grade one infundibular caries. Then we come over to the other side. We can see some grade two caries here on the six. Uh, grade ones here and then here we have um, the tooth that was fractured with some fragments remaining on the 208. 209 the mesial infundibulum is almost expired there's some carry on the distal and then the 10 and 11 look healthy. Okay so it's really important to understand the anatomy on these types of cases because uh, it could easily be confused for a dental problem, but we'll show you a couple things here. If we look, this is the, the caudal maxillary sinus here. Here's the facial crest. And if we look inside, we can see that we have teeth right here. If I, you can kind of see this is one of the tooth roots. Um, and then there's a very thin layer of bone that separates the tooth roots from the actual um, sinus cavity itself. And so right here, you can see this very thin bone that's only about the size of, of a fingernail, and then this is tooth here, okay? And so if this region gets infected, the pus and the infection can easily drain into this sinus cavity right here. Uh, and then from that sinus cavity, what will happen is it will come and it will start to drain externally into the nostril. And so pus always takes the path of least resistance. So it is theoretically possible that the infection could get so big within the sinus that it would eventually drain outside the face. I've seen that in some instances, but it's typically very severe chronic cases um, and it's pretty unusual. But what is more common that can sometimes happen along the facial crest is external trauma. Horses can bang into things or they can get kicked. And what can happen is it can break off a little piece of bone here. So that was my suspicion on, on this guy here based on the history. I was concerned that that may have been the case. So I took some radiographs that are a little different projections than what we typically would do. Um, here we can see the root fragment remnants, uh, but that's not necessarily what I was trying to get the view of. So that's why you can see it's a little bit of an odd view. If you have any questions about dental radiographs, we'll post a link to, we've got several videos showing how to take good equine dental radiographs. Um, here you can see that again. Okay, here though we have a region of interest, which is, I'll show how we did that view. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit so hopefully you guys can see it better on the video. It's a little bit difficult sometimes to get the contrast just right for the video. But right here, I think you can see it pretty well. We can see in this region right here that we have a fracture. So we have a bone sequestrum off the facial crest and that's what's causing the sinusitis. Um, so what we did is we actually just put the plate underneath here and then we shot a dorsal to ventral radiograph isolating the facial crest and we could see that the CT scan can be really nice in these types of cases so that you can see the fracture in three dimensions. 
So this is a complicated case, and this is, uh, with dentistry, oftentimes cases are complex, and the more you know and the more you look, the more things you find, and so it's, it's not uncommon to have a horse that has multiple issues, and uh, what we want to do is try and address them all the best that we can. So in this case, we have to address the fractured facial crest and remove the bone sequestrum. We also have to address the two root fragments, so we will take those out. And then we're going to perform an infundibular restorations on some, not all of the caries, but the ones that are more severe and the deeper ones, we're going to do a restoration to uh, prevent fracture of those teeth. So you can see it's a multimodal uh, approach to, to dealing with the, the pathology that's present. So, okay, so here you can see where we did the restoration on the number six here, the 106 and then the 107 and then we also did mesial infundibulum on the 206 and then we extracted the two fragments that were remaining on the 208 so now we're going to go ahead and proceed and remove the bone sequestrum all right so here you can see we've got the two fragments so we've got these two roots right here from the 208 that we picked out. Um, so we removed those intra orally just using local anesthesia. Um, and then here we can see the bone sequestrum from the facial crest. There's a couple other small little ones, but this was the main, main one. Um, so you can imagine if you've ever had a small splinter, you know, you know what that feels and how it festers. So even though this may not seem this that big, it's maybe one centimeter by one centimeter it's obviously gonna fester and, and cause some infection and some swelling and pain. So that's why we decided to remove that because that's what was causing the sinusitis as well as the drainage on the outside. So you should do really well between the restorations, pulling out the root fragments and getting rid of the, the facial fracture. Uh, you should do really well. If you enjoy this kind of content and these videos, please like and follow. It helps us get the message out. Uh, for everybody, for veterinarians, uh, trainers, horse owners, dental practitioners. And if you're a veterinarian interested in learning more about these techniques, we have regular courses. Uh, we'll post a link to the website where we have classes on dental surgery, on restorations, on equilibration diagnostics, and all those types of things. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up.